everyone, welcome back to day five of classroom setup. Today is probably going to be the last day of classroom setup since pretty much everything in here is done, minus a couple little things here and there. I'm gonna walk you around, tell you what I'm gonna do today, and then we'll get started. So first thing, I went a little bit back to school shopping this morning, got a few of my staple items that I always get every year. I got this really cute pair of black pants from Kohl's in the Lauren Conrad section. Super cute high rise black um, sort of jean material, but super stretchy, very um, like slim. Perfect for wearing teacher t-shirts with. Um, and then I got a pair of jeans from Old Navy and a couple tops from Old Navy. Just a few items that I thought would be great staples. I like to wear teacher t-shirts on Fridays. I get to wear college t-shirts on Wednesdays. So I really only have to worry about um, something else Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. I also got a couple things for my get ready cabinet. So from Walmart, I just put in this mirror and then I got a curling iron. This is just a one inch from TJ Maxx. Um, I didn't wanna spend a whole lot of money on it. I got a whole little drawer here for hair stuff. So I have some dry shampoo and some hairspray. And then I got these yesterday at Michael's. They were just on sale. Um, I, got a new, I got a brush to keep here. And then this is the um, beach bound spray from Bedhead. This is really great, like if I wanna wear my hair down, but it's like flat like this and it's just not doing its thing, then I can put some salt spray in it. And then I plan on bringing some of my backup makeup products to keep in here. That way, if I wanna get ready for work at work, if I wanna just get up, shower and go, I can do that. So, Thus far this morning, I have not done a whole lot. I just kind of walked in the door and it's about 11 o'clock. So the projects that I have to do today are finish up some things on this table. I've kind of been like putting everything that I want to do on this table. So I need to number my clothespins. I'm going to do two sets of those. One is for grabber store and one is going to be for um, a writing thing that I'm gonna make and then I need to put numbers in these adhesive square pockets and put those on the inside of the cubbies I think I might just leave the numbers that are in there right now since they're already in there and there's nothing wrong with them but they do need new numbers on the inside and then I need to make labels for my little thing as you guys know I talked about that yesterday I need to go through these anchor charts I need to finish putting the letters in there. I need to do my dojo stuff and my label for up there. And then just little random things like put all this curriculum away. This needs to go in binders, so I'll do that. Um, I need to make the labels for that cart with my Cricut. And then just some other little printing projects and then of course just cleaning everything up. Most of the desks or tables are cleared off. I do need to finish that wall. I printed everything for it. It's just kind of like little signs here and there and make a label. And then yeah, just kind of put everything away so that on Monday when I come in here I can just start planning, prepping, and printing. So I think I might reprint those little posters in black and white and use binder clips to hang them on these signs to um, have at each table to have at each table for students to use throughout the year they can flip through those and then I do have these little signs that I might use for behavior stuff instead because I had them from last year um, and just put the behavior expectations back in there on the other side. So my desk is a mess again. Those are just things that I need to do, put up over there. I'm just gonna putz around. Let's see, what do I wanna do first? Okay, I'm gonna go through this box of supplies. This was all stuff that was like sort of in my desk last year. And I'm gonna organize what I can into these. I still need another bin. And then after that, I think I'm going to work on cutting out the things I printed and then do the Avid wall since I have all of that ready to go.
right, so I just printed these labels out and I just used PowerPoint to um, print them. And then I just stuck, sorry, I'm trying to push it in. I just stuck the labels onto the cubby system and now I know exactly what's in each of these. And yay! Hey guys, welcome back. So I have done considerably a lot since we checked in last, but I wanted to do something real quick while I eat lunch before I move on and show you everything that I've accomplished today. I've gotten so many questions in my comment section and my comments are upon review, you guys. So if you don't see your comment down below, just know that I haven't seen them or reviewed them yet. I usually approve every single comment unless it's like hateful or mean. But um, a couple of questions that I've received through my comments, sorry, I'm sitting down to eat lunch. I'm just gonna go through a few of them, the ones that have come a few times. Okay, one question that has come up quite a few times is about student numbers. So I've seen this done in a lot of classrooms. It's a number system where you give every student a number and you try to do your best to do it alphabetically. In the first week of school, it's hard not to assign numbers because you wanna get started on all of that organization and getting the kids memorizing their numbers. So I usually do this the second day of school. I give students their number, they memorize it. It is given in alphabetical order depending on who is in my class on the second day of school. If a student were to leave, their number becomes available. If a student were to come, they get the next number in the out they get the next number even if their alphabetical name doesn't match that number. So let's say um, Mary Adams is number one, but Katrina Alphabet <laughs> comes to school in like the third week. Katrina Alphabet is going to be number 21 because that's the next available number. However, when we line up or go anywhere, we line up in alphabetical order, not number order. It's a little bit confusing, but pretty much the only person that needs to remember that they're second in line is Katrina Alphabet because she's number 24, but she's obviously number two in line. So it does get a little bit confusing depending on when kids leave and when kids uh, show up, but it's never been a problem for me. I've had kids come in the middle of school and they're number 24 and it just happens to be that. And I've also had kids that are number four and number six leave in the middle of the year and their number is just blank. The kids should memorize what order they line up in anyway. And the number system is really just to keep track of people. And like I'll, num I'll name things off, like I'll, I'll say, okay, numbers one through eight, go to your cubby. Numbers nine through 10, go to your cubby. Like it's just a lot easier to manage than saying, you know, their names. Also, if you number all of their things, then whoever it belongs to, if their name isn't on it, at least I put their number on it and I can put it back in the cubby where it belongs or I can give it back to that student. Somebody asked about the white numbers over there. They go from zero to 12. Um, they are third graders. They should be able to count from zero to 10. Those are for math facts quizzes. So once they pass a math fact quiz, they get their name written on the fact. So like if they know their twos, they get their name written on the two. If they know their threes, their name gets put on the threes. It's just a way for them to feel accomplished and they get to go up and write their name on the number that they've memorized. Here's another question. How are you mounting your anchor charts when the wall is not magnetic? Let me show you. So on my anchor chart wall, I have hung little gold hooks and they kind of blend in. And then there's a tension rod there and most of my anchor charts are made with holes in the top, so I just put a binder clip through those holes and hang them right there on the tension rod. Then I can take it down and flip through the anchor charts and find which one I'm looking for. Somebody asked me how long my commute is. Every day it's about 40 minutes here and an hour home. Okay, so all those are all the questions that have come up multiple times in my comments down below, so if you guys have any other comments or questions, don't hesitate to put them down there because I am looking at them and I would love to answer those questions for you in a video or commenting back. All right, it is now 4.30. I'm planning on leaving pretty soon, like any minute now. I have made so much progress and I'm thrilled to share with you guys. So, uh, a couple things. 
Um, I'm not gonna show you every single detail just because I feel like I need to save that for a classroom tour. Pretty much everything is done and ready for like working in my room for back to school. We are gonna have quite a few hours in our rooms next week, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Monday to work in our rooms. But as far as it goes right now, my room is meet the teacher ready. I have plenty of space for supply dumps. I have plenty of space for um, everything to go down. So I have a couple more projects left to do, but I'm gonna wait and save them for next week. This project is still going strong. I have not done this yet. I'm just dreading it because it's painful. Okay, so since we last talked, I cleaned this space off, hung my clock, cleaned this space off. I put everything for the Cricut on this cart that I'm gonna get rid of. But for now, since the computers aren't in here and people are still wanting to use the Cricut, I'm just gonna leave it on this cart and then when I'm done, I'll take it home, get rid of the cart, and we're done. So I also hung my little dojo prizes, so five point prizes, 10 point prizes, 20 point prizes, and then I just have like a coloring box back here for like a chill out spot. I'm gonna add some more sensory things in there for like chilling out, maybe a timer, maybe some reflection pages, don't know yet. Uh, nothing over there has changed. I put my easel right here to kind of block off this space. As of right now, I have 19 students. Uh, that'll probably change, but this is set up for 24. And if that easel were to move, you could see the other two or four hiding back there, but I figured that's a good way to hide that kind of blank corner. Uh, what else have I done? I hung, I did my Avid wall. These are from TPT. I hung my bath, or my bathroom. <laughs> I hung my birthday things up there, so I'll just get a little printout of everybody who's in each birthday month, and then I'll just tape it below. I put my whole brain teaching rules up. Um, what else did I do? I still have to do, so this is one of the projects that's left. I need to go through my anchor charts, see what I want to keep, see what I want to get rid of, and then this curriculum needs to be sorted through and put away, so I'll probably do that on Wednesday. I put some things on my board, my whole brain scoreboard, and our goal tracking, noise levels, and then I put this learn thing that I got from Target right above where I put my learning objectives, so I think that would be great. I'm probably going to end up putting my schedule over here. And I have schedule cards, so I might just use those and then make some vinyl labels for learning objectives. Since I really only need to write a learning objective for like four or five uh, subjects. Um, I thought I put, I need to hang up my... Um, cute little misfit signs. I put all my magnets in there because they were just junking up the board and I didn't want them out. And then I cleaned this area and got organized. I have a to-do list that started things I need to do before back to school. So it's like creating stuff. Uh, I sorted all my supplies. That fan is a gr in a great spot because it's plugged in, but I can move it off of my desk if I choose to do so. Um, this little table here is a flexible seating thing. It's like perfectly hidden under my desk, but a kid could pull it out and use it. What else did I do? I don't even know. I've been like, oh, I hung some stuff over here, put a lamp there, I also made my little coffee station and a pencil sharpener. I just used some Velcro dots and hung this power strip back there. I realize now that I wish I would have put it under there, but the cord would have just been all like twisted and stuff, and it's not a big deal. Um, I'm not going to label this, I decided. I'm just going to put everything in it that the aid will need, and that's it. And then over here, I added a few things. I put my little black shelf here, my Mrs. Valdez sign, Elsa and Yoda, 
And then I also created this little thing. It's just gonna be a tracker for um, who's here. Who, this was like old from one of my old classrooms that I just had and I just didn't feel like making anything. So I'll just put the kids' names on these and then every day when they come in, they'll move their magnet in class and then whoever's not over there, I'll mark absent. And then as they leave the room, they'll put their magnet where they're going. That way I don't have to pay attention. <laughs> they'll just put their magnet where they're going. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. My backpack tubs are here. They're gonna take up a lot more space. So I think that during the day when they're full, I might put them just across here. I don't know yet because this is where the kids line up. So I might put them like here. I might even put them outside right under the window just, you know, so that I can still see them, but they're out of the way. I don't know, I'm gonna ask my principal about that one. But yeah, this is what's going on here. Pretty much done. Still don't have a label for that wall. I will get it done eventually. Oh, this needs to get put away. So pretty much all that's left is anchor charts, curriculum. I need to number clothes pins and then finish those letter board letters. So I feel pretty accomplished. The room is ready. I don't need to come in here again until Wednesday next week, which is our first contract day anyway. And on our back to school schedule, there is a lot of time for working in our rooms. So that's perfect. All right, my camera is going to die, so I'm gonna sign off. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Apples NTRs to see more daily updates. After this week, I will be only posting once a week. Um, if you're loving what you're seeing here on this channel, make sure to like and subscribe so that you can see all of the things that I post throughout the next school year. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.